Guy Webster, Sorry. the legendary Guy Webster. That's my nickname. I started in 1961, so it's a long time. Mm -hmm. Figured out that's about 53 years. I liked working um, with rock groups because they were freer and more interesting than, say, the motion picture actors that were a little stiffer and a little more afraid of my camera. And there are a lot of guys like that who are very talented in front of a camera, particularly women, and they can give you a lot. Just they give you 20 looks within a minute, like this, like that, like this. Get it? So you want people to move around. You don't want them to just be static. We have a, a show that's out right now that you kids hopefully will see on TV soon. It's called Who Shot Rock and Roll? And uh, it was at the Annenberg Center for Photography. And so I was the first of the rock photographers, so I'm the first one in the show. And then each decade there's a different photographer. And it's really a wonderful uh, kind of resume of what we did in those days, because there were no rock photographers. You know. Well, this is Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. and. Jimi Hendrix up there. This is just a small portion of what I've done because it's just what we could fit on the walls from a show. But I've done thousands and thousands of pictures because I've been doing it for 50 years, right? I left home with no money and no cameras or anything and went to school. And there's a great school here in Los Angeles called the Art Center School of Design and Photography. Right now they're in Pasadena, but in the old days they were in Hollywood. And that's where I studied. After college, I went two years to study there. One photographer, because I saw his work when I was very young, before I was even interested in photography, his name was Irving Penn, a famous, famous photographer back in the 40s and 50s. And he shot beautiful color things like this. And uh, I went to him in New York, and I said, I want to do the same kind of work you do, studio work and celebrities and things like that. And he said, go back to California. Don't work for me. Get your own look and go do it yourself. You have great light in California. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen. If you can dream it, you can come up with it. You can start a business. And it may not just be photography. It may be something else that you use photography in the business. And that's all of the stuff you can do. And it's exciting. If you fall in love with it, you'll know. Because here's what I used to do. I used to um, work all night long in the dark room. Now there are no more dark rooms. But in those days there were. And I would work. I'd go in there, say goodbye to my wife and not see her for like eight or ten hours. I would go in the dark room and work and come out with beautiful images. And that's what you have to do. These two ladies... This is Lisa, who shot that beautiful picture over there of the uh, forest. And then my daughter, Jessie, who's on the computer right now, she's a photographer on her own. If you love it so much that you refuse to do anything else but photography, and you don't care how much you're going to make the first 10 years of your life as a photographer, you can become successful. And you have to come up with something that's uniquely your own so that your pictures look like what you want them to be and look like no one else's. You don't want to copy other people. Like, uh, everybody shoots differently, and so find your niche and go for it.